Hi, I am Florence Pitadua of Highway Hills Integrated School to discuss with you the least master skills on Quarter 1, Module 1 on Functions. Let us view now my lesson. Quarter 1, Week 1, Functions. We have the following objectives in this lesson. 1. Recall the concepts of relations and functions. 2. Define and explain functional relationship as a mathematical model of a situation. And 3. Represent real-life situations using functions, including piecewise functions. Let us proceed to the definition of a relation and a function. A relation is any set of ordered pairs. The set of all first elements of the ordered pairs is called the domain of the relation, and the set of all second elements is called the range. A function is a relation or rule of correspondence between two elements, the domain and range, such that each element in the domain corresponds to exactly one element in the range. Let us now proceed to examples. Given the following ordered pairs, which relations are functions? In set A, we were given the set of ordered pairs 1, 5, 2, 6, 3, 7, 4, 8. In this example, none of the elements of the domain is repeated. Hence, it is a function. Our domain in set A is the set of the first coordinates. These are 1, 2, 3, and 4. None of that is repeated. So, again, it is a function. Let us have now the set B. 7, 7, 8, 8, 9, 9, 10, 10. So, just inspect our first coordinates. There should be none of it that should be repeated. So we have in here 7, 8, 9, and 10. So that is also a function. Let us have now the set C. 2, 1, 1, 2, 0, 1, 1, negative 2. So inspecting our first coordinates, which we consider as the domain, 2, 1, 0, and 1. So if you try to see it or observe it, there is an element which is repeated in the domain, that is the 1. The 1 is being paired with the 2 and then the negative 2. Hence, the set C is not a function. Let us have now the set D. A, C, B, D, C, E, and A, E. So inspecting our first coordinates, we have in here A, B, C, and A. So there is an element in the domain which is repeated, which is the A. That is much to C and E at the same time. Hence, the D is not a function. Okay, let us proceed to examples when the given are the table of values. Okay, let us also identify in here which are said to be functions and not functions. Okay, here. Example A. In this example, we have in here the domain which is negative 3, the set of numbers from negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, and 1. So none of that is repeated, hence that is a function. In set B, we have in here the domain which are, okay, these numbers 1, 2, 4, and 4. So, 4 is repeated in here, hence the set B is not a function. Set C, we have here the domain, okay, which are the set, uh, which are the numbers from 4 until here. So, we have 4, 9, 16, and 25. Okay, none is repeated, hence the example C is a function. Let's now proceed to the examples when we were given mapping diagrams. Okay, let us also identify in here which are functions or not functions. 
first example, we have in here 2 map to 12, 4, 9, 6 to 6, and 8 to 3. Okay, so this is, is an example this is an example of a function. And then the relationship depicted by this example is a one-to-one -one function. Since for every element in our domain that is matched exactly to an element in our range. Okay, let us now proceed to the example number two. Okay, so here, this also signify a function. And then, a relationship depicted by this example is a many-to-one many function. Since there are many elements, let us say in this example, we have 7 and 8 in our input being much okay to just an element or one element to our output okay so the 7 and 8 is much to the 45 so we consider this example as a many to one function okay last example under mapping diagrams okay so if you try to see it our tree in the input is much okay to many elements in our output the 0 2 4 and 6 so this is showing us a one to many relationship and a one to many relationship is not a function so when we were given mapping diagrams what are considered as functions only are the relationship relationships uh, one to one and many to one again the one to many is not a function okay given the graphs we will be applying the vertical line test okay so what is this vertical line test okay a graph of a relation is a function if any vertical line drawn passing through the graph intersects it at exactly one point. So what we have to do only is to draw a vertical line okay, from top to bottom to any part of that given graph. Okay, It should touch that graph at exactly one point. Okay, so when it touches our graph at two or more points, we do not consider that anymore as a function. Okay, let's have the example A. Okay, so in here, draw vertical line. So if you try to see it, that is touching to all the points in the given graph or in the yeah in the given illustration. So the letter A is not a function. Okay, in the B, try to draw vertical line, vertical line to any part of this illustration. So as you will notice that will be touching the graph at one point only so the letter b is a function and then if we add in here the identifying of the domain and the range okay our rule in here in identifying the domain just look from left to the right okay so if you see this is an arrowhead part going to the arrowhead part so our domain okay when we read that it's from negative infinity until the positive infinity then you enclose it with parentheses the arrows is the, the arrows in here are telling us that that is extending to that direction both sides okay with our range okay bottom to top is our rule in reading that so in here it is only at two okay enclose that enclose that with uh brackets okay let's have no the letter c the letter c is a function yeah draw a vertical line to anywhere to any part of this graph it should touch the graph at one point only with our domain i can read from left to right okay so in set interval notation this starts with this solid point this closed circle going to the closed circle also and then with closed circle, okay, we uh, note that or we denote that with a brace. So it starts from negative 3 until 3. Okay. Here with our range, okay, read from bottom to top. So the lowest point in here is this, that is negative 2 until okay to the topmost point, okay, that is aligned to this positive 2. Okay, enclose also into braces. Now the examples 
when our given our equations for us to identify whether an equation is a function or not we will be solving in terms of y first then when we yield to a single result that is a function if not Okay, if the results are two or more, okay, so it is not a function. Let's say example A. Y is equal to 2x plus 1. So try to substitute a number to the x when we get a single or a unique answer only. Okay, it's a function. Let's say 1. X be 1. So that would be Y is equal to 2 times 1 plus 1. 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1. That's 3. Okay, so we just have a, a single number so example a is a function you will just do the same to the rest of the examples in here okay in the b okay if you notice this is a quadratic equation so that is a function okay so uh, substitute any number let's say again two in here two squared is four minus two times two okay so four minus four that's zero plus three the answer is three okay so function in b in the letter c x squared plus y squared is equal to 25 and then if you recall this is our equation of a circle okay x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared which we, which we'll, which we'll discuss in the junior high school okay and then trying to visualize the circle in a Cartesian plane. Okay, you know that when you apply the vertical line test, that will be touching your graph at, at two points. Hence, the C is not a function. With the D, Y is equal to 2X plus 3 over X minus 2. Okay, so let's say X in here is 5. So 2 times 5, that's 10 plus 3, that's 13. Okay, then X is 5 minus 2 that will be 3 so 13 over 3 okay it's just a single number okay we yield to a unique result okay so the letter d is a function in e okay we have in here the square root of x plus 3 let's say x is 1 1 plus 3 that would be 4 the square root of 4 okay we have in here two roots one positive two the other is a negative 2. So, since dalawa yung sagot natin in here, okay, it means that the letter E is not a function. Okay, let us proceed to the piecewise function. A piecewise function is a function consisting of sub-functions or pieces defined on a sequence of intervals, domains. The domain of each sub-function must not overlap. A step or floor function is an example of a piecewise function. Okay, the left illustration is showing us a step function. And then here at the right, this is also showing us a function. Okay. So there should be no overlap in our okay, solution set. Okay, application in real life. Michaela went to a convenience store to buy candies priced at 5 pesos. She pays money to the cashier. What is the function rule that describes the total amount? A. She pays for every candy C that she buys. So, the equation depicted in here is AC is equal to 5C. A person is earning 650 pesos per day to do a certain job. Express the total salary S as a function of the number N of days that the person works. So that is SN is equal to 650N. A machine salesperson earns a base salary of 15,000 plus a commission of 500 for every machine he sells. Write the function that describes the situation given. So that is f of x is equal to 15,000 plus 500x. Mauro is charged 800 pesos monthly for his subscribed mobile plan, which includes 150 free text messages. Messages in excess of 150 are charged 1 peso each. Represent the monthly cost for text messaging using the function T of M, where M is the number of messages sent in a month. So that is T of M is equal to okay, 800 if the M is greater than 0 and less than or equal to 150. And then the second equation will be 800 plus M if M is greater than 150. Okay.
Thank you for listening and I hope you learned today. Goodbye!